Impressive. I think you've done more than enough to prove you're truly anti-Joko. You shouldn't have any problem getting Salwa to let you into the restricted archive. Tell her I've sent you to retrieve a book called Nightfall. The book will reveal the entrance to the Sunspear base. Well, we're off to a great start. <gasps> Cackling! How Cormier did it? Did what? Literally sacrificed yourself to become a god. Drop the book. Thank you. Gotta head up north. We just got word that new weapons have been dropped off at our cache locations. If you could assist us, we'd appreciate it. Honestly, did not see what I picked up. The Grace of Melendru. Nice. The next time you step outside, be sure to take a moment to listen. Do you hear that? That is the sound of Melendry speaking to you through the wind, the leaves, the grass. Pay careful attention 
and you may be able to understand her words of wisdom. Experience the full measure of Maledru's grace in this meditative exercise book co-authored by 12 of her priests and priestesses throughout Tyria. Explore the value of nature walks. Capture the beauty of her bounty uh, with step-by-step -step leaf drawing exercises. And stop to smell the roses as you venture outside the comforts of your, of your home and step into Melendru's own. When you see, feel, and hear her beauty all around you, perhaps you'll also come to appreciate the beauty within yourself. No, it's wholesome though. Everybody has a hidden gem. And that gem could be many colors, many sizes. I forgot where I was going with that analogy. But you're beautiful. Don't ever forget that. Men, women, don't matter. You're beautiful. You're handsome. You're all gorgeous. Archivist Rada sent me to fetch a book for her. The title is Nightfall. She said you'd know it. Every page. By heart. Rada has an eye for history. And apprentices, too, it seems. Enter. And do not fail her. Nightfall. Nightfall. Diary of Margaret the Sly. Read it. This book is extremely fragile and caked in what appears to be salt. It looks as though seawater was all... has all but destroyed it. Right. Alrighty, so Margaret. She was a ranger from the first game as well. You could unlock her as a hero to join your party. Um, if I remember correctly, she comes from the expansion Nightfall. Yeah. Yeah, she came from Nightfall. Um, Vec, who we talked about earlier, comes from the Eye of the North. Ogden Stone Healer. And Livia. I don't know if you recognize her. If you watch my videos, she makes an appearance in the last season. She's a necromancer. Man. It makes sense why she's a necromancer now. Still using the scepter of ore, I think, to keep her young. <laughs> this book has been heavily edited and altered with handwritten notes scribbled throughout. There's a page bookmark turned to it. The, apof the Apocrypha uh, challenged the great Palawa Joko to single combat, transforming itself frantic frantically from form to form in an attempt to best the unbeaten Lich King. The word Joko is highlighted. Continue reading. The King played uh, the king played with it for 
a time, deriving amusement from the melee, but soon his corpsefulness grew weary of the battle, and with a snap of his fingers, he felled the ancient guardian. With the apocrypha broken at his feet, the great Palawa Joko said, It's just like you. It's just like you, Monoliths, to crack under pressure. The undead king set off to Korna to face the deceitful Osa. Skip ahead to the next bookmark page. Then Palawa Joko dared the demon to eat Cormier's eyes. Do it. Dragging a blind woman through the abyss and back might actually prove a challenge. With a scream and a slurp, the demon obeyed. Is this the best Korna has to challenge me? Enough of this. To Vabi. The word is is highlighted. So Joko is false. Your false god will kneel, will kneel before me, Osa. His majesty Palawa Joko gloated over the war marshal's corpse. I shall protect the people of Alona from the nightfall you've attempted to bring upon them. The word false is highlighted. The great king uh, then opened a rift to the realm of torment with his bare hands and the god of secrets whimpered. Palawa Joko was coming and none of who stand in his way live to tell the tale. Turn the page. The page is blank except for three glowing spaces. He recalled the three glowing words in the book. Joko is false. Here we go. Recruit Asim. Hi, Commander. It's good to see you. Why are you stationed here? It's my duty to guard the way in and out of this place. Have you seen anyone suspicious come in or out? Our efforts to conceal the entrance from the restricted library have worked so far. May Cormir keep the truth from them until we're ready to strike. <coughs> Excuse me. Glad to hear that. Keep up the good work. A high hero of Amnun. I am First Spear Hakima of the Istani Sunspears. You know who I am? Every Sunspear knows who you are. And I believe we have some common interests. Joko's hold on Istan has weakened in his absence. Some of us here even dare to dream of a new era. I left Joko rotting in a cage in the domain of the Lost. Should definitely make for smoother sailing. She's pretty. You would think. But the number of Awakened grows. They're retaking towns we've freed, including Champion's Dawn. And someone claiming to be Joko is offering rewards for the heads of his enemies. Especially yours. So I hear. I'll tread carefully. To that end, I'm here to ask if you can get me into Faranor. Oh. I'm afraid not. Only our leader knows the way. Spear Marshal Zayin guards that secret with his life. He rode south to retake Champion's Dawn from the Awakened. The priest there, Sazir, usually knows where he is. Then that's where I'm headed. Is there something else you would like to know? Tell me more about the Sun Spears. The Sun Spears are an ancient Rare treasure. Honorable protectors from brighter years in Alona's history. Most of my brothers and sisters were awakened Damn. and forced to serve Joko. Poppin', you know them now with the Mordant Crescent. A few survived, in hiding. Recruiting to sustain the Order across the generations in hopes they might one day rise against Joko. Zaim has become the Spear Marshal of these Sun Spears. We serve his vision of an Istan free from Joko's grasp. 
Tell me more about Zaim. Zaim was trained by a sunspear named Keter, until word of Istan's plight reached his ears. When Balthazar attacked the mainland, things got worse in Istan. Much worse. Istan was Zaim's home, and despite his mentor's protests, he could not sit by while it burned. Zaim vowed to bring the Sun Spears out of the shadows, to once again make them a shield for the innocent and the scourge of the corrupt. I was the first he recruited, but many would follow. Eventually, we convinced him to take the title of Spear Marshal. Tell me about the rebellion. Balthazar's campaign on the mainland caused ripples throughout the kingdom. Crops burned. Trade lines disrupted. Shipments to Istan that never got past Palawadan. Joko's loyalists are comprised mainly of the island's nobility, and only they are allowed to live within Palawadan, its port city. They control what comes in and what goes out. They decided food would not go out. When people objected, the Temple of Joko said those outside Palawadon's walls were disloyal and didn't deserve food. It started out as a way for the nobility to feel virtuous watching half the island starve. But it escalated. Quickly. How did the fighting start? Isner Isles had enough and declared their independence from the rest of Istan. By then, the Temple congregation had armed themselves. The Loyalists went down there, intending to make an example of the disloyal. Zaim was prepared, though. He taught us a great deal about guerrilla tactics. The Sun Spears crushed the Loyalists, sent them running all the way to the northern shore. The awakened garrison was manned by a skeleton crew, no pun intended, thanks to your liberation of the mainland forces. Nonetheless, the Mordant Crescent sent 50 Awakened to find this famous Sunspear champion and end the rebellion. We don't know how he did it, but two facts are undisputed. Those Awakened lie dead, and Zaim lives. The people started calling him the Hero of Istan. It galvanized the whole island behind him. So, what turned the tide against the Sunspears? The Mordant Crescent and their loyalists imposed martial law, even within Palawadon itself. They started conscripting the living and awakening the dead. If you won't serve in life, you can always serve in death. Anyone suspected of aiding the Sunspears gets rounded up for re-education. With their supply lines broken, their families imprisoned, recruits getting harder and harder to find. Well, as you can imagine, things started falling apart. The Mordant Crescent would rather watch Istan burn than tolerate any commoner who shows some spine. And Zaim and his Sun Spear recruits? Well, we have spines. Age no longer affects us dwarves. Erosion, however. So you get smoother instead of wrinkling. Did I ask that already? The Mordant Crescent and their loyalists imposed martial law, oh, yeah. even within Palawadon itself. They started Thanks, conscripting bye. the living and awakening the dead. If you won't serve in life, you can always serve in death. Anyone suspected of aiding the sun spears gets rounded up. Yes, what's going on here? Education. We're planning to assault Palawadon in the Mordant Crescent the Great Hall. Imprisoned. We need to Recruits hit them where it hurts. Harder and harder How to can find? I help? Our quartermasters well, is gathering supplies imagine, to arm our troops. She'd appreciate your uh, contribution. The First, Mordant Spear Crescent Hakim would rather watch uh, will have ideas as well. Some spine. I'll look for them. Thanks and, and good luck. And Spear recruits? Well, we have spines of iron. Priest Adresa, thanks. 
think Cormir, you made it to the uh, made it to Istong, Commander. With you here, I pray fewer recruits will need my help. Have we met? No. Although Agent Keto speaks highly of you, I was drawn to Istan from Amnoon, just as you were. Uh, it may be less safe to tend to our flock in this place, but I, f I felt called to help this cause. The Sunspears are lucky to have you here with them. Scriptures of Cormier. And so it came to pass that the Spear Marshal Cormier, hero of Alalona, was pulled into the inky blackness surrounding the God of Secrets. And though her sight had been robbed, her body racked, and her spirit flayed, she remained resolute. Skip ahead. And though her power and their combined skill and bravery, the blessings of the five true gods, did abandon, at last, face his ultimate defeat. Yet, the power of a god cannot be destroyed, and Cormier, making a choice that only a mortal could make, did take upon herself t uh, the mantle of the goddess of truth. And so by mortal hands did a new immortal enter creation. Oh, hi, Commander. What's going on here? Joko loyal t loyalist rats double crossed us uh, by posing as recruits. Thank Cormir we found them uh, before they could lead the Morton Crescent back here to us. How did you find them out? An order of shadows agent overheard some recruit whispering about reporting back to the authorities after a training exercise here. What do you plan to do with the loyalists? They're going to have to stay uh, our guests for now, but the time will come for their judgment. I'm, I'm sure. Uh, hi, you look like you have a question to ask me. No, I'm okay. I like your outfit though. The Sunspear Creed. The Sunspears were born of a need to protect a nation. By joining this order, we declare our dedication to the people of Alona. We will defend Alona from every threat, whether large or small, um, martial, mis mystical, or supernatural. We will strike down foes and lift up enemies, or strike down foes and lift up allies. A sun spear never fights alone. We will live uh, in accordance with the eight virtues, valor, humility, honor, honesty, justice, compassion, sacrifice, and loyalty, and respect all but answer only to our own. We are the unbreakable wall to shelter the innocent, the unstoppable arrow to pierce the enemy, the unsuppressed voice of support and resistance. Forgive me, but I'm trying to focus on my training here. How can I help you? I need to be confident in my own abilities, Commander. Only then will I be able to face the fight ahead, calm and balanced. Respect. I can respect that. Oh no! 
allies make for quicker victories. We do make a good team, don't we? Joker wasn't even there when Balthasar fell. None of them saw what the deer told us happened in Bobby. Not one. My God. I can tell Cormier did it, so that would be notable heroes. See, there are few humans in Tyria's history who can say they challenged a god. Fewer still can claim they defeated one. Yet only one can claim to have ascended our mortal plane, becoming a god herself. Cormier, goddess of order, spirit, and truth, began her rise to godhood as a decorated spear marshal. Even in life, uh, she sought to bring order to from chaos, leading the charge against criminals and corsairs who threatened the life, the lives of the most innocent. In this exciting collection, Cormier's loyal Sunspear compatriots speak of her mortal years, uh, how she survived her confrontation with the, the hunger, and the grand battles against the fallen gods. The fallen god Abaddon and her ultimate ascension to the, the pantheon. Oh, sweet. I'm up. I'm up. Unfolded as I knew it would. Sadly, the world remains a dangerous place. 